Welcome to Tay, Technology, Automotive, and Gaming. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Clutch M20 Elite MSI. How pretty you watch. Look at Derry too. Whoa! Tag, you're it! Two meter. Rated for 20 million clicks? If that's true, this is a good mouse. But it's not a good mouse, because 2.7, aka 8 divided by 3. 1000 hertz pulling rate. Product weight. 92 grams without weights. Okay. Ready. The Clutch GM20 Elite weighs 92 grams. Dude, it is not 92 grams. Okay, it's close to 92. It's just, I don't know how you're supposed to weigh a mouse and is rated for up to 20 million clicks. It has variable DPI of 400, 800, 1600, 3, which doesn't really matter. What is DPI? DPI means dots per inch. So now all I would have to do is that and I turn a single circle. That would be two circles, that would be three circles, and this would be 30 circles. And that's what DPI is? Search it up. So you can't, according, based off of what I'm saying here, there is no software for this mouse that you can change the DPI. You're just stuck with those options, which is fine. Um, anything above 1600, no one really uses. Frick, I looked at the freaking box, like, autistic kid. You're gonna have to cut that out or you get canceled. It has six mouse buttons, which, since it doesn't have software, or at least nothing on here says anything about software, uh, you can't change the buttons or set to what they were. Most people don't really change them in the first place, so it's most likely fine. It had a pulling rate of 1000 hertz. No one really cares about that. Which is kind of standard on a lot of mouses, sometimes they're at 500, but the difference is only really one millisecond, so it's pretty fine. But yeah, I'll just freaking do that. Okay, I'm getting to unboxing the mouse. <clears throat> now, what I can say is the packaging is actually good. Everything else may not be great, but this packaging is nice. Not nice to open, though. Okay. Okay. Now, right as I open it, there's a, a thing that comes out. This might talk about software, which wouldn't make any sense. It's an extremely big manual, and I am impatient, so. Just read like a tenth of the instructions, and it currently, it, all I really saw was the different methods of changing the colors on this. Uh, so if you want to change the colors on it, it's right there in instructions, it's the first page in English. If you don't speak English, um, good luck. That's a huge manual, good luck finding it. First thing you see is the cord. It is rubber, which means do not get this for gaming. Let's so open this up more. Yeah, I do not know how this is meant to be opened. But it does come in a, uh, a white wrapping bag. So, yeah, great protection. And it looks nice. Yeah, that's good. Good, good looking mouses are nice. I mean, I won't really be able to tell how nice it is on a table, but from what I can tell, the feet, the feet are actually good feet. They're made out of, you know, at least decent material. I don't know if it's the poly, whatever, that's on normal mouses. Better than these, you know, basic office mouses that have a cheap piece of rubber on them. This is actually, you know, some stuff that will slide, you know, better. So if you... Maybe want to play some games like Roblox. I'm sure this will be good enough. And it does come with a rubber uh, wire holder, which is good enough, I guess. Overall, the geometric design and the whole physique of this mouse is actually pretty good. It's pretty good looking. And surprisingly, it has good side buttons. I don't know what it is with most gaming mice, but they always make the side buttons squishy. The only good mouse that I know of that has good side buttons is the G502, but that mouse weighs a ton, so yeah. On the reviews, there's only three reviews for this mouse, so this mouse is kind of non-existent on the internet as in terms of how many reviews and how many people buy it. So if you're looking for this mouse, I'd recommend it only if you're just trying to get some cheap mouse for some kid that you're, that, you know, you're like, here's a cheap 
and want a $200 computer and a mouse and I'll piss off. Yeah, that's what I'd really recommend it for. I wouldn't really say it's too useful for anything else. Maybe you're just some, maybe you're just your parents seen a mouse and you want to be like, hey, look at pretty colors, mom. I love you because this has pretty colors and it's a mouse. Then you're good. You're great if that's all you want. Otherwise, based off the reviews and what I'm seeing here, it's not the greatest, but I'll give it a test. I'll find out truly how great of a mouse this is, if it is great at all. Logic! Yo! The gamer here now, you know me. Apparently, there is software, but uh, you gotta get Dragon Center, and then go to gaming gear, and you can change the DPI, you can change the polling rate, whatever you would want to do that, I don't know. You can change the butt mouse buttons as well. But honestly, the person that would use this mouse probably would have no need to change the mouse buttons and uh, change the polling rate or anything like that because the person using this is not going to be someone that plays games. And if they are someone that plays games, they're a two-year-old that got given a cheap PC because they wouldn't shut up about wanting to play Roblox. The mouse feels fine, actually. It feels good. My biggest problem with the mouse is the fact that the feet, I said they're like good or better, but they're not great mouse feet. They're not like good mouse feet that you, it, like it doesn't feel perfect. It just feels good. Some, like I'd be fine. This wouldn't bother me if I was doing boring stuff like taxes or school. I don't do taxes, but the other two old brothers do taxes. And those guys are pretty ancient. <clears throat> Playing a game, there's he's an old person, so there aren't any games on here. Uh, we're playing with this mouse, but yeah, it feels fine without playing games with it. So, we should download CSS Go and play a game in CSGO. It's gonna take a year. Why is it that big of a game? I don't know. <laughs> what is that? What did you say? I said I like hairy guys. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said the older you get, the more fast the time flies. So. Yeah, that's exactly what I said. Oh, found the first issue. I found an issue. What's the issue? Currently, there's an issue with the scroll wheel where it locks up. It gets, at a certain point, it gets kind of like, feels like there's jello, jello in it. It's kind of hard to move. It's really unsatisfying, which it's not what you want for a mouse cursor. So yeah, that's issue number one. Not convenient at all. So, this mouse actually has weights in the back. There we go. They have one here, one here, one here. Now, why you would want the weights, I don't know. We're not, oh, uh-oh. We're not using weights, uh, cause we're normal people that don't do that. Um, the center one appears to be half the size. The side ones, seem to be half the size of the center one. So, yeah. Don't really care about the weights. If you use, don't use weights. It's not the pro strat. Um, yeah, got the, mouse, got the mouse, got this really not good setup in any regard at all. But I'm um, gonna see what I can do. I'm about to play like it's so fat. Why is your keyboard so fat? <laughs> it's bigger than a normal one. There's even extra G keys and stuff. It's for editing, you silly goose. G keys are great for uh, editing. Yo, 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 Trevor in the house. We're playing CSGO. Let's get into it. They call me Trevor Boss. They call me T Dog. Okay, testing out the mouse. Well, currently, it actually feels pretty fine. Uh, can't really play CSGO on this setup. Info audio, it's surprising how audio is so significant. Um, yeah, actually, it's doing fine with like, quick movements, surprisingly. And really quick movements, which sometimes mouse, mouses have problems with, they might cut out. This is actually, it's doing fine, so. Mouse isn't that bad. 
tracking with the mouse feels really good. Flicking actually feels fine too. It's actually not that bad to flick with the mouse. But it feels pretty smooth. Okay. Well, the mouse actually feels pretty fine on here. Uh, tracking is actually pretty good. Flicking is also pretty good considering on a 6 yards monitor it actually feels great. The biggest issue with this mouse is the scroll wheel. I'm sure it is just this mouse, but I'm warning you, you care a lot about your scroller spinning, would not recommend it. Otherwise, this mouse isn't too bad for basic home things and playing games as well. The mouse is not that bad. Yeah, it actually feels fine. I'd be able to play with this, which is not what I expected to say about any of this at all. Overall, feels great. If you're not looking to play serious in any games and you don't really care if your mouse breaks within a year and you don't mind any minor flukes, as long as you can play the game and it's not too inconvenient, this mouse is probably going to be good enough. It costs $30 and I'm, I wouldn't say it's exactly worth the $30. But if you accidentally bought it, I'm sure you'd be fine. So, overall, pretty good mouse. Biggest quality that's good about this is the side buttons. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe. Tag, you're it. Yeah, I'm taking this with me, guys. Thanks. Thanks for the help. Uh, it's Shimmer. Yeah, Give me the outro.